Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to the third episode of the Racing Girls News and today we will be talking over the things that have happened in the Racing Girls for roughly the past 7 days. Now at the beginning of this week uh, the fix for the 6.0 update finally came out which you know made matte paint finally look like matte paint again so that was welcome even though you know some of the paints I kind of did prefer before for example the matte green looked uh, I think a bit nicer uh, back when it was you know lighter uh, before the fix came out, but whatever, that's subjective, at least it's fixed now. Uh, too bad that the fix for the matte paints unfortunately broke some rims, which were later fixed. Unfortunately, the fix for the rims messed up more rims, so at this point, uh, some rims, like the sticker bomb T37s, are missing textures, but, uh, you know, there's gonna be a fix for that as well, I'm assuming anyway. Uh, you know, who knows when though, so... Not um, the greatest of fixes there, but whatever, Glue's, you know, trying to do something which is uh, cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Hondas now. Now it seems like every single week there's gonna be a crate overhaul as well as a Honda themed racer club. And uh, this week was okay, I guess. There were a few new versions of the cars which were previously in the game. And uh, I don't think they're actually gonna release any new Hondas, they're just gonna make you know, slightly different versions, which I don't think is exactly the right thing to do, but hey, Glue has to make their money somehow. Uh, I'm gonna rant about that at the end of the video, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it right now, uh, even though I kind of did. Pretty much, um, the best new car that was released in Honda crates this week, I believe, is the S2000 Travels Edition, which, first of all, looks awesome, second of all, is better than the third of uh, Honda... Um, uh, S2000 Race Edition, which uh, was super good in some lobbies, but now it's it's pretty slow uh, when it comes to R Class Turf Cars, and the uh, Rivals Edition definitely fixes that. So I really do like that. Uh, then you also had the Honda Civic Race Edition, the newer one, which uh, is pretty much uh, I think it's the same thing as the Race Studio, which was in the crates last week. And you also have the third version of the NSX GT in the game, which are getting super redundant at this point and I don't think it's the last version either so not a huge fan of that but whatever then you also had uh, the Honda Team Racer Club which uh, last week it had some of the weirdest choices I've ever seen for a racer club um, you know team uh, pretty much you had uh, last week you had the Civic Sedan as well as the NSX uh, uh, Type R which were okay they just didn't feel you know right being in the racer club I mean you had the Gallardo Polizia you had the Enzo in the racer club before now you have a you know Honda Civic Sedan it's not exactly the most amazing of improvements but um, this week uh, was kind of even worse as far as the racer club goes because you had the Acura Integra for 3000 jumps and you had the first generation NSX for 6000 jumps and the problem with the Integra is that it was actually actually it's not exactly a problem but it was released in the showroom uh, for like uh, I'm not sure how long a few minutes probably there were a couple of thousands bought at that time so pretty much the car which you're supposed to spend 3000 gems for, it's not really valuable. I got one donated for free, shout out to Blanco Angel who gave it to me, but it's like, it's not, it doesn't hold a whole lot of value and it's just not rewarding getting one, you know, spend gems for that, so go figure. But uh, you also have the first uh, generation uh, uh, NSX, which is a really nice car, it does look awesome in game, but you know, just that alone is not gonna make me want to spend 6000 gems, and along with that, you also had some uh, previously vaulted WWE rims, uh, uh, that, yeah, return, which I just don't think they look that good, they didn't, you know, give us the best of choice there, so this week, the race of the club, I would definitely pass, just wait for something better, even though at this point, I'm not sure if they're gonna release any more amazing Hondas, because they, you know, just seem to be repeating the previous versions of cars, but whatever. Um, Anyways, like, my suggestion for this would be that, you know, they would go easy with, uh, um, you know, with the Racer Club on us, just because they could make it spend, like, 1,000 gems, just because the 6 point update was so terrible. They should go easy, they shouldn't try to milk every single last cent out of us, because, you know, some of these cars, the choices that are not gonna make me or you guys probably want to spend money. Um, now, uh, what they did to compensate for the disaster that was the 6.0 launch, they did give us a free Honda Civic Type R, the, the 2016 one, I'm not sure what the model year is, but it, it, it's new, 
and uh, the version that, ga that they gave to us was the LE, which is slightly heavier than the showroom version, so it's not exactly the greatest of, gear, uh, of gears there, and you also got uh, some, uh, I think you got four free Honda crates and a gold crate, which honestly uh, wasn't like, they should probably just give us gems like they used to, but uh, whatever, I'm not sure if this is the greatest way to run your game, so... Uh, whatever. Also, gold crates went on sale. I think they were at 33% off, which pretty much means that they're still around uh, fucking five times too expensive. Gold crates are just too expensive. Silver ones as well. Honda crates are kind of well priced, just just like barely. And the bronze crates are okay as far as I'm concerned. Now I'm gonna give my opinion on something right here, right now. I think that glue needs to pretty much realized that the past few weeks have really really damaged the community and the overall reputation of racing hours and in order to rebuild that they need to stop trying to make us spend all of our gems because like why would you have a slightly different versions of same cars in the in the fucking honda crates every single week why would you try to make us spend 3000 gems to get a car which was previously, you know, um, by mistake released in the showroom for 30,000 RRC, which is pretty much nothing. It's just not the way that, you know, people are gonna, you know, start enjoying the game again, because as of right now, it just feels like a cash grab and something needs to be changed about that. Like, pretty much, I don't know shit about game developing, but it's, as a consumer, I just do not feel like i can even fucking trust glue after the bullshit they've done and after the way that they're running this game and like uh, before i always defended glue i i don't think i ever shit talked uh, the developers themselves okay i did you know talk shit about the game but pretty much everyone does that like i always defended glue because i thought they knew in what direction the game should be headed and as of right now i'm not sure if the direction they want this game to go um, it is good. So, look, I don't know shit about game developing, but pretty much, um, they need to stop adding new fucking versions of the NSX G3 and fix the game. That's all. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name's Jerry, and hopefully, by this time next week, Racing Alice is gonna run perfectly. <sighs> yeah.